Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on some Google Sheets tools that will help you create your motion graphs. So for example here I have segment 1, this is my speeding up time, so that should be 2 through 20 seconds at 2 second intervals. I can continue to type the series 2, 4, 6, 8, but that's going to take me a while, especially since I have to do segment 2 from 40 to, I'm sorry, from 20 to 40 and then another one 40 to 60. So to make your life easier, start typing in the pattern that you want and then tell Google Sheets to create that pattern in the cells below. So I highlighted 2468, click on the little box and drag it down. So obviously you'll go farther than I am. I'm going just to 40 for my example. Okay, so now I have the time in that column and I want to have the exact same thing in this column. Well, I could do it a couple ways. I could just col copy column B, command C, then go over to column D and command V. That works. But another way to do this, just so you know, is to tell column D to be equal to column B. So I'm saying in this cell D3, I want you to equal B3. So I type in the equal sign and tell it to be equal to cell B3. Now again, Google Sheets is pretty smart, so if I grab my little box again and I drag that down, it will say, okay, so this is supposed to be equal, D3 is equal to B3, so D4 is equal to B4, etc., etc. Okay, so then once I know my distances and I've, I've done my work and thinking about how my motion story goes, I can type in my distances in, in this column. So. And this one, it's speeding up, so it starts at 1. Okay, so those are my speeding up segments. So in the column over here, this, those are my distances. So at 2 seconds, it's at 1 meter. At 4 seconds, it's at 3 meters. 6 seconds, at 5, 8, 11, etc. So to see what the speed is for those, I can divide distance by time, meters per second, but an easier way of using Google Sheets is to, again, use the equal sign and tell it to do some math for you. So in this case, I'm telling it that this cell, E3, is equal to cell C3 divided by cell B3, distance divided by time. So at that point, I'm going 0.5 meters per second. Again, I'm just going to click on that and drag the little blue box down. And now you can see that my speed is increasing at every interval. Thank you for watching.